Ready to defib? You can't let him die. Stand clear. Everybody get clear of the bed, please. Shocking now. But don't die. Don't you dare die. Right, we're back in science. Keep a close eye on the ribbon. He's dead, isn't he? He's still critical. They've managed to stabilise him for now, but they've told me to tell you to prepare for the worst. He's gonna die. He'll die and I'll get alive. There's no point getting ahead of yourself. He's gonna die. And I'm gonna be stuck in here till I'm an old woman. And my baby's gonna be teased at school and no one's gonna wanna know her. I won't be there to cuddle her. I won't kiss her knees when she falls over. I love Lloyd. I do. Well, truly, madly, deeply. Straight and too madly. I always know where I am with him. No, I'm... I've done terrible things with this hand. Stop it. Hit you with it. Shoved you. Made you cry. But it's the same hand that held Russ when he was minutes old, before they cut the cord, even. At my mum's funeral, I held it all day. Thought I was gonna break your fingers. So did I. And all that history... counts. It's as much for hope as it is for me. I just feel like we should be there. I can't explain it, it's just a gut feeling. With respect, Fiona, I don't see what it would achieve. He's gonna die! I know he is. And my brother told me that John was trying to clear my name. Oh, not much chance of that now, I know. Now he's at death's door. Please. Please let me take hope to see him. You are coming up for sentencing for murder. I had nothing to do with Colin Fishwick's death. And that aside, there is a staffing issue. You need to be handcuffed and heavily guarded. Do you seriously think I'd do a runner? Not in a million years, but you've no idea of the red tape involved. Please, Governor, I have done everything I can in this place. I stuck my neck on the line about the drug dealing. You did. I need to see him. Please. I don't know, mate. Shut up and stick it in your blackberry. Next Friday, poker night, lads only. I'm still trying to crawl back into it. Good books, I'm not sure she'll approve. The least Cheryl's got you on. I'm surprised she even lets you get the milk in. <laughs> You're in the bad books for saying what any bloke would say. Most would have said it sooner. Look, he's Russ's dad. It's not cut and dried. What? Whipped. Oh, behave yourself. Her ex-husband, the father of a one and only child, is on his way out. Fingers crossed. Look, I'll ignore that. Me off playing Pope will go down like a cold cup of sick. Like I said, whipped. Am I too late? Oh, I nearly lost him before. Didn't manage to get his heart going again. I don't know why I'm here. He's out of it. He's never going to confess this. I've got to do right by Hope. She needs to see him. And so do I. Well, if you say so. Come on. I'll ring your solicitor, tell him what's going on. Is he in pain? Highly unlikely. He's unconscious. I didn't know if you were dead or alive. The only time you've stopped lying to me is when you're asleep. There's hardly a mark on your face. You. I've wished all sorts of things on you. Terrible things. Hope's here. Okay. I wanted us to see ya. Oh. Come on. Listen. Daddy is asleep. Because he's very poorly. Shh. Oh, darling. Oh, she's okay. It's okay. 
okay? His eyes are flickering. He's coming round. It's his birthday. You did tell them we need the table back by nine. I knew there was something. We only squeezed them in as a favour. Yeah, I'm so sorry, Nick. I switched off. Please try later. I'm sorry. I have to get them to bowl down the puddings. Luckily, Dev sells indigestion tablets. I'm such an idiot. It's all right. It's not the end of the world. It's only a booking. They just fell out of my head. I get the feeling's pretty cramped up there. Sorry, I've brought it all to work. You're not even meant to be in. Yeah, I kind of thought work would take my mind off things. It was sort of the other way around. What are you going to find, Lloyd? I don't know. Like the shift's nearly over, and avoiding him doesn't seem to be doing the trick, so maybe talking to him will. I had a plan. All this time. Months and months in prison. Not knowing if you were even alive. I came back. Try and clear your name. What, by snatching Rosie Webster? Again? Square in the circle. Stick your clever talk, John. You know they think I killed Colin Fishwick? No. Nobody killed him. Nobody. Are you OK? You want me to call the doctor? What, what do you need to do, John? Tell them what really happened. Yes, Redfern. You want to make a statement? Yes, please. A camcorder in the tripod. OK. Maybe your lucky day. A camcorder, eh? What's my hair saying? <laughs> I hope it's enough. I can't prompt you or ask you any questions. Do you understand? Yes. Bring your hope over. daughter's health and happiness. I, John Stape, swear that this is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Okay. There were three people in the house the night that Colin Fishwick collapsed and died. Colin, Charlotte Hoyle, and me. Colin was trying to blackmail me. He'd been badly beaten by a man called Ben Fielding. It is no good. I have tried counting to ten in five languages, tried offering it up. I even tried to lie down with an arrowroot biscuit and a cold compress. And? I still want the plagiarist head on a platter. Nah, smooth, smooth, smooth. So twist a knife, why don't you? She has won a Caribbean cruise. I, I hold my hands up. I underestimated it, but, but there's nothing we can do now. Email the organisers. Take legal advice. I, I fear HMS Retribution has sailed. There'll be other competitions. I thought you would be incandescent. I, I thought your, your dander would be well and truly up. I can assure you that it is, but I have stopped short at wishing the woman dead. Every time I swaddled my baby daughter, I would think of Colin. Wrapped up in that rug. Fact. 
Deanway Guest House, Marple Road. It was Collins B and B. Found the key fob in his pocket when he when he dropped dead. B and B woman will remember me. Fizz knew nothing. Nothing. How come mine Fiora gave you an early dart? Nick's all right. What, making you work your day off? Well, actually, I misread the rotor. Uh... It's a bit mad at home, isn't it? Mad, sad, and a minefield to boot. I'm sorry I took off at you about Chris. I think I went a bit overboard. Well, hold that thought, babe, and say yes to the following. Can I go on a lad's night out next Friday? Steve, Carl, a few jars. You don't need my permission. Your blessing would be nice. I mean, it's not as though we can kale up together on the couch, is it? No, I suppose not. Plus, it will get me out from under Chris's feet. I can get legless, and he can point score to his heart's content with you and Russ. Don't say that. Joking. Half joking. Streetcars. <laughs> That's enough. Yeah, so do I. Running at those tears because you love me. Sorry. Selfish to the end. It might not be the end. Talk about nine lives. I can feel death. I have lived a nightmare for months and months, not knowing if you were dead or alive. I've been carrying the can for your madness. Locked up, facing a life sentence, in agony about what might happen to Hope. No, no words. Me. How sorry I am. Sorry? You're sorry? Where the hell have you been? Anglesey. <laughs> oh, behold, the bleaters have come to bleat. I'd rather be a bleater than a cheater. Ditto. I demand that you tell the competition people you cheated. They asked for a slogan. I gave them a slogan. My slogan. Mm. Oh, my goodness, we do have an inflated opinion of ourselves, don't we? <laughs> Your mother is an ocean-going cheat. A charlatan at full sail. I refuse to become embroiled. I'm sorry. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. Are you threatening me? Ignore the landlubbers, Roy. They've only themselves to blame. <laughs> I knew gold when I saw it. My gold? My waste paper bin. Uh, technically mine, but no matter. The competition people will want proof. Yeah, bring it on. Well, that scrunched up bit of paper that I retrieved... Stole? ...went to the recycling plant two weeks ago. Oh, oh better have the blasted crews. Come on. I hope you get dysentery, sunstroke and malaria. Oh, mosquito net, you are too kind. Oh, enough, enough. enough, enough, enough. My body needed to mend. I needed time to work out how best to help you. I can't believe it. I'm still on oath. I swore on our baby's life. If you'd have handed yourself in, if you hadn't have jumped, you could have cleared my name. I couldn't face prison again. Poor you. Oh. I didn't know you'd been arrested. I never dreamed they'd lock you up. John, they had three corpses on their hands. And I was all they had because you had looked after number one as per. He's weakening. <laughs> I don't know what I fear most. Hell or nothing. Why, why if there's a big plate, nothing. I'm so sorry. I forgive you. You know I do. Why else would I be here? Can I hold hope? Please. 
Now, the fact that you're torn, doesn't that tell you that you and Lloyd are on the way out? Look, you, you, you can blame me, say you need to do it for Russ's sake, you can lay it on with a trowel. Yeah, cos that's gonna take the sting out of it. Any less humiliating for him. Uh, you wanted me last night, and you want me now. Chris. I know, I know you think he's the long-term investment, but I'm telling you, since last night, I felt the best I can remember in months. That's brilliant. I'm not planning on pegging out any time soon. We could have years together. Look, Lloyd will get over it, meet someone who really wants it. Drop it, I mean it, drop it. OK, pot pickers, I am not getting the waft of homemade pie here. Uh, chippy tea. Sorry, I forgot to do a big shop. Hey. Mm, no pubs, babe. I'll go. No, I'll go. I'll drag Russ away from that game. I can feel her breath. It's Daddy. It's Dada. Hey, baby girl. I'm your, I'm your Dada. Come here, Dad. <laughs> do you... Do you... read to her? Every day. She loves not now, Bernard. Yeah. You said she would. Yeah. Make sure she reads. All of that. I promise. Yeah. You want to give your daddy a kiss? Yeah. Hey, give her a kiss. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh no, darling. Can I? She'll be teased and shunned. And loved and cherished. Yeah. The murderer's daughter. Stop torturing yourself. Oh, I can't bear it if she hates me. I've tried hating you. It doesn't work. I can't do it. Oh. Our foundations are too solid. I love you. I always will. Oh, that is the best. You love me. And Hope loves you. I'm gonna tell her all about you. The millions of good things. Great things. You love me. Always. I hate the sin, but I love the sinner. His gentle heart. John, you're sorry for what you did. Yeah. I love it. I only did it to bring friends out love. Monday. Yeah. I'll be doing a uniform inspection by the front door. Yeah, right. And if anyone gives you any grief, I'll pulverise them. Cool. <laughs> you don't even know what it means. It sounds painful, though. Uh, well, I'll look it up in the dictionary. I'll just ask Lloyd. It'll be quicker. Hey, he can hardly write his own name. He knows, like, loads of random stuff. 
You're knocking on a bit now, son. What do you like of keeping secrets? Good, yeah. Well, between you and me, and only you and me, me and your mum are going to be getting back together. No Lloyd, just us three, like it used to be. Where are we going to live? Oh, we will get a nice house of our own. Now, you, you say nothing, OK? Oh, good lad. To writing a hit song? Did you say how do I how do I write a hit song? How do yeah, I write sorry, a hit song? You probably need subtitles with I... me. <laughs> Answering the stars' questions and singing all the hits next, an audience with Barry Manilow. <laughs> 